Gallagher Fluid Seals presents this training module on fluoroelastomers. Fluoroelastomers are high performance elastomer materials used in the chemical process, semiconductor, aviation, and other industries where seal resistance to aggressive chemicals and high temperatures is needed. The following slides will give you a basic understanding of fluoroelastomers. First, let's explore why it's important to have a basic understanding of elastomers. It is not critical to be an expert on elastomers, but a basic understanding of these products allows you to discuss important sealing requirements with your supplier. This understanding allows you and your supplier to have a common language to discuss applications and assist in proper material selection. Selection of the correct elastomer will maximize seal life and performance. This also means that seal failures and equipment downtime will be minimized. The cost of lost production quickly eliminates any savings that may have resulted from selecting a lower cost and perhaps lower performing seal. Finally, an unexpected seal failure and subsequent product leakage could result in injury to plant personnel and possible environmental contamination. Hence, a basic understanding of elastomers is critical to maximizing production uptime and maintaining a safe work environment. Before delving into our discussion on fluoroelastomers, it is important to understand what is an elastomer. In basic terms, an elastomer is made up of long chain polymers that are connected by crosslinks. These crosslinks can be thought of as springs that act to give the material its recovery characteristics, also known as elastomer memory. Crosslinks are generally considered as stable, but they can break down over time due to high temperatures and or pressures. When crosslinks break down, the elastomer loses its resiliency. That is, the ability to recover after it has been deformed. This loss of seal resiliency can result in seal failure. Now, what makes a fluoroelastomer different from other elastomers? In a fluoroelastomer, at least some fluorine atoms must be in the polymer structure and therefore protecting the polymer backbone. With the exception of fluorosilicones, which will not be covered in this presentation, the polymer backbone is made up of carbon-carbon bonds. Different atoms, such as hydrogen, chlorine, or chemical groups may also be attached to this carbon backbone. The diagram shows a basic fluoroelastomer that contains vanillidine fluoride, VF2, and hexafluoropropylene, HFP. In general, if an elastomer contains fluorine, it may be referred to as a fluoroelastomer. Note that the term fluoroelastomer may also be used for blends of fluoroelastomers with non-fluoroelastomers. This is an issue that will be discussed later. The addition of fluorine to the basic elastomer structure serves two purposes. The large fluorine atoms increase the chemical resistance of the elastomer by shielding the carbon backbone from chemical attack. At the locations where hydrogen atoms are connected to the polymer backbone, these points are weak points in the elastomer structure. Finally, the carbon-fluorine bond is the most stable bond in organic chemistry. This bond strength also results in the excellent high temperature performance of fluoroelastomers. This chart shows the relative bond strengths for different carbon bonds. Again, the very stable carbon-fluorine bond is the reason fluoroelastomers have better performance than other elastomers which have more carbon-hydrogen or carbon-chlorine bonds. To summarize, high fluorine content in the elastomer results in better overall performance. The general designation fluoroelastomer is a term that covers any elastomer that contains fluorine. This table shows some different fluoroelastomers as well as their ASTM designation and fluorine content. In general, the elastomers that contain a higher fluorine content will have better chemical resistance. Finally, as mentioned earlier, this seminar will not cover fluorosilicones, which have a very different polymer structure. This structure results in relatively weak mechanical properties. 
This slide illustrates the chemical resistance of different fluoroelastomers to an aromatic fuel. Notice that as the fluorine content decreases, so does the chemical resistance of the elastomer. In general, fluoroelastomers have excellent chemical resistance, but higher fluorine in fluoroelastomers results in improved performance in aggressive media. This is only one section of a much more detailed fluoroelastomers basics training module. To download the entire training module, please follow the link in this video or visit Gallagher's resources page.